I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a service lock tool that goes onto the bumper uh, frame. Uh, all you have to do is, well, it's assumed that you have already removed your bumper uh, once everything, including these bolts and quite a few bolts here, once they're all removed and the same thing on the other side. You're gonna need to choose one of the four bolts, depending on which one, it doesn't matter. Uh, you would need to insert that service, service locking tool uh, inside. So after doing a lot of research, I don't think it's worth paying that much price. So I'm gonna attempt to make one myself. Uh, $80 to $100 for a piece of bolt and a pipe. Uh, I think that's just crazy. I uh, figured out that uh, the size for the screw is an M8 1.25 by 90 millimeters. Now, Bomb Tools is the one that actually sells that service tool as well. Uh, I've contacted them. They said that uh, what goes, uh, what the, the strength for the screw is class 10.9, but I think a class 8.8 .8 can work as well. So, um, I went to Home Depot or any hardware store you can go to and I bought an M8 1.25 by 90 millimeters. It's at 8.8 .8 strength, which should be fine. And, uh, this is exactly how it looks like. one point two five millimeter thread with the rest is all smooth and then I couldn't find any other pipe I mean well I could but there was uh, what I'm using is a one by four by four inches galvanized steel this is stronger than the one that's uh, being used by the service tool, but get a six inch one and you can remove all these uh, grooves and you can uh, you can cut the grooves and only use a smooth one. But what I'm gonna do is, I don't think it matters, is I'm gonna use all of this and then just cut a little bit off from here and then insert it into the screw. And then you also need some M8 washers. Now these are, I picked up were class 10.9, so these are even stronger than uh, all these combined. The mechanism for the locking tool is, the basic setup is you would have a washer that would go on to this and then this would go into the pipe and this now obviously I'm gonna cut cut this off so that way it goes inside inside the bumper but uh, the tool that uh, that's provided by the uh, when you buy online is it's like cut maybe two to four millimeters and then the thickness of that pipe that's provided on the tool is actually thicker so it's not really going to make a difference because with with the homemade setup This is stronger. I'm not gonna even cut this part out and uh, just leave it as is because it's gonna s provide a lot of support. Actually, I don't know why that service tool even has a cut because that just reduces the integrity of the 
uh, of the pipe. So I went ahead and removed one of the screws from the bumper bar. Uh, it looks like this. This is actually longer, but you could take this one out and use this one in there, but then you would then you would have no bumper bar support or that that little tube because remember you're only putting two screws one on this side and one on the other side held by this and you're putting a lot of weight on this and uh, while these are strong uh, these are class 10.9 strength um, I don't think you want to take that chance um, so you could use the bumpers but I would buy like a uh, a pipe so I would say like buy a since this is big I would buy like a long one uh, so if this is going this way I would buy like maybe a six inch and then put her in there and you can actually still pull the bum bumper out uh, the pipes I mean all of this so the, that uh, these screws were like uh, I think like three dollars per two 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 for three some three twenty nine from Home Depot and this was like two something two fifty two forty each and then this was seventy five cents for five pack so if you're if you don't want to spend all that. I mean, all that total was only like about uh, 10 to $15. And then for this, all you would need is just a pipe. So you just buy two pipes um, and that would be like around 3 to $5. And you could still take the bumper out. I've actually bought, as you can see, I bought four. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use this side and that side. So I'm gonna put two on this side and two on that side. More support. And just in case, I do have it on top of the bricks and uh, some form of platform, but I want to test to see if this works. And if it works, then I just saved myself a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is cut from this part and then there's like about six grooves of space that goes in that's left to be put inside so I'm gonna cut a little bit from here and uh, that should be good um, and what I'm gonna do is use a Dremel and cut the pipe So before attempting this, please make sure that you are wearing safety glasses because this is cutting metal. You don't want this getting in your eye. So please, please wear a safety, uh, safety glasses. So here's the cut piece and then I'm just going to probably sand it down from here but I would go right there and then just cut a little bit from there and that should be the tool. Piece. 
So the whole mechanism behind this screw is, or the setup is for the service lock tool is, uh, when you're inserting this into the bumper, this part gets attached to the frame, while this is the smooth part where it allows you to glide at least three, three and a half inches, three, three by five eighths or something. Um, which is plenty of room for you to be able to work around, surprisingly. So, but yeah, when you're cutting the pipe, just to make sure there's at least six to seven grooves available. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven, yep. And then that would be it. And then you can just, when you pull the bumper bar out, it's gonna slide right into it. And uh, if you need to, uh, or if you need to, you could use a bigger washer, but um, I'm not gonna really let it go that far, but uh, all of, you can pull it all the way out here. It's gonna, it's gonna get to the end because this is the exact size length, approximately. And, um, yeah, there's your tool. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And uh, I want to make three more. All for $15. <laughs> I mean, you could do it for 3 to $5 if you have, if, you only, if you're only using two. So, here's the uh, finished product. Made four of them. And uh, I'm going to try to put them on the bumper and uh, try to see if this actually works. If it works, uh, then I highly recommend you try this method as well. Those two are attached. And those two are attached. Now, for some reason, when I try to pull it out, that side, for some reason, goes back in. So, uh, I kind of put some bricks on there, so that way, if, once I push from this side, the other one doesn't go inside. But otherwise, it looks like it's holding up real good. And in fact, uh, it's not even, well, just for safe side, I actually put these on there, but you don't even need it because just trying to show you how there's nothing holding it other than the setup that I did and it worked out real well but um, so just so you show you give you an idea Plenty of space now. Unbelievable amount. The only reason I actually took this out further was um, the radiator pipe and this hose that connects from here to here. So if you need to access the high pressure fuel pump or the, the vacuum pump, the thermostat, there's just no way to, uh, let me just try to put this light here real quick to show you. Okay. So when you take out, so there's a hose that connects to this right here for, in the radiator, but on top of that little thing, uh, Actually, I'll just show you. So, what I broke was 
right there. And the piece is actually still stuck onto this thing. I'll take it out, but that's gonna break regardless. And then, so, and then that place thing broke, or that, the nipple right there broke. Uh, just, see, just keep in mind that there's no way to avoid this. If you're gonna open the high pressure fuel pump or uh, I'm gonna service anything down here. You're gonna break this automatically and that. Why? Because the minute you take the clip out from here, there's one that goes here and uh, that'll break the minute you take it off. No questions asked. And it's a very common problem actually. So these two parts are gonna be replaced, unfortunately. But yes, back to the topic. The homemade contraption that I made worked perfect. Uh, I can, and now I'm able to uh, re replace the gaskets on the vacuum pump, um, po change possibly the timing belt. I mean, you don't have to change, uh, move this back uh, in service position to move the timing belt. You can do it without it, but it's easier that way. And then accessing the hoses and just in, just to, just as a reminder, if you're gonna be removing the hoses, just use a WD-40 and a flathead. Spray the spray spray the hole, and then use a flathead to push it out, and it comes off. It it took three three to five minutes. You could potentially try to take the uh, the thermostat hose out, but you're gonna be you're gonna be stuck all day trying to take it out. So it's just. 10 minute thing to pull this back and 5 to 10 minutes to remove the hoses if you do it properly. So yeah, success.